Hi everyone, it's Robin and time for another Thrift Store Thursday. Welcome back. I love Thursdays so much. I think most of you like Thursdays too because I've been getting a lot of comments lately saying that Thrift Store Thursdays are like one of your favorite days. Which makes me very, very happy because I love to go to the thrift store and find new treasures, bring them home, and share them with you, and then decorate my house with them. It's just a fun overall process that I'm having a blast with. So, without further ado, let's jump into the items that I found this week because I have some really fun stuff to share with you. So, shall we start with the dishes? <laughs> I did find a few dishes this week. The first dish that I found this week was 99 cents and it was from Goodwill. And it is this little bread and butter plate right here. I like this so much. Now I used to have a set of four larger plates like this, which I also found at the thrift store. But at a time, we kind of went through a time where we broke a lot of plates and then I had like no white plates for my everyday plates. So I took these out because these seem nice and sturdy. Well, sad to say, I only have one of these plates left. So I used it in my black and white decor on my hutch this um, for this winter. And when this, when I saw this little bread and butter plate, I was like, oh, I just have to have it. Because it's the same pattern. I do not know who makes this. It just has a back, on the back it just is stamped USA. But to me it kind of looks like it should be like the carnation pattern or something like that. But yeah, I just think it's just gorgeous. I like how simple it is with just the black and white. And if you look real closely, the pattern itself is very pretty. So I thought that was really cool. I would love to find some more of this, but eventually maybe someday I will. So that was a very cool find for me. The next thing I found was a really cool piece and I splurged a little bit on. And it is this right here. It's a big white bowl, but it has this little iron, you see that? It has this little iron stand that it sits in. I found this at the Goodwill for $10. $10 is a little much for me to spend on something like this that is not vintage, but I found this and I thought to myself, you know what? This would work perfect to sit down on the counter and to hold like fresh fruit, which is something that I've been looking for for a very long time. So. I thought this was a good deal. And you can obviously, I still have the tape on it, I don't know if you can see that or not, there we go. Um, just so I can show it to you a little better. But you can take this bowl out and wash it and you know, I probably have a few other bowls that would fit into this little stand. So I'm just really excited about this, I think it is so cool, it has the little handles on each side and you can carry it to the table if the bowl is hot. It doesn't have any markings on it which is kind of... A disappointment but because I don't know if it's like an oven safe bowl or what but for what I plan to use it for I think it'll be perfect this would also be nice to use at, for like um, potlucks and stuff like that not that I go to a lot of potlucks but you know it's nice to be prepared so I thought that was a really nice find the final dish that I found had me as soon as I saw it I was in love with it instantly and it is this right here it's just a little serving dish. Porcelain, it's got a ton of browning and crackling. Is that called grazing, I believe it is? Yeah. But it has a beautiful, sweet pink flower pattern on it. It is absolutely gorgeous. It does have a little chip at the top, but I don't really care because it's just going to be decorative. And then on the end here, it has a little bit of gold detailing. And then the back, it says Johnson Brothers England, and I paid $5 for this. And I think I probably spent that much on it. It was probably $5 because it's a Johnson Brothers. Um, those always tend to um, be a little bit more expensive at the stores. But I just thought it was super cute. I would love to find a little plate holder that would hold it like this on a, on a shelf or something, just so that you can see the gorgeous discoloration and crackling. Oh, I just love it so much. So I was very excited to find this. So the next item I found I thought was a very very sweet and somebody obviously had done, made it themselves and it is this little painting right here. Isn't it gorgeous? It was a dollar forty nine. It didn't have a frame or anything and it's just painted on like a plain old little piece of wood. 
And I just thought it was absolutely gorgeous. I mean, oh, if I could paint like that, I would just be painting things all the time. It is signed by the 2002 Haldren. G. Heldon. Heldon. Heldren. Something like that. But anyways, I don't care. I just thought it was super duper cute. I think it'll look nice stuck, stuck on like a shelf or something. Or maybe I'll put it in my bathroom because the colors are, are right for that. I just thought it was just super sweet. And I love finding things like this that somebody has made so lovingly. And it's just unique and one of a kind. And I just thought it was not something that I could pass up. Wasn't any hesitation. It went right into my cart. <laughs> So the next thing that I found was a wood tray. I was looking for more cutting boards of course, but I found this tray instead and it looks like this. Can you see that? Isn't it gorgeous? I love the two tones of wood and then it's kind of got like a little pinstripe right where the two colors change. It's really pretty. Now the tray itself is very thin. Can you see how thin that is? Very thin, but it's got these nice big handles, and I just love the color on it. I think it was really cool. I think this would look really nice on like a shelf with some plates stacked in front of it, or I could use it to serve drinks too, but you know. But anyways, the, <laughs> the markings on the back are kind of funny. It says, Liquor Proof Finish, good to know, Overton Bentwood Tray from South Haven, Michigan. So yeah, I think it was, I thought it was very unique. I'd never seen anything like it. It's got a little bit of something going on here, but you know what, I don't really care. I just think it is so pretty. I could probably buff that out a bit. But yeah, I just thought it was very unique. Nothing I've ever seen like this before. And I just thought it was really cool. So I picked that up. So we're down to our very last thing, you guys. This is very, very sad times. All right, so the last thing I picked up was really, really cool. It was $3.99, and it is a nice, big toolbox in a beautiful blue color. The inside's nice and rusty and crusty. The outside has got nice rust on it also. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. That is just awesomeness. It says All-American Strong Spacious. I'm not, I'm assuming it's like, one of, it used to go inside of a toolbox, but I just think this is so cool. So I'm going to clean this up a little bit, try to maybe get some of this flaking rust off of it maybe a little bit, and just kind of use it come summer and spring, because this is a gorgeous color. I love the color so much. This will be so fun to play with. I don't know where I'm going to use it, it'll probably end up in my living room or in my dining room. And I just think it's so pretty. I was so pleased with this. If anyone else has ever had something like this, do you like give it a clear coat of like some kind of protectant so that it doesn't keep um, rusting? Because this side over here is very rusty. I just don't like touching it when it's that rusty. But anyways, I just thought this was so cool. So I have something very similar to this that is green, but it's like half this size and I don't know it's just I've never used it I've had it sitting down in my basement for years but this blue color oh it spoke to me so I had to pick it up so I was very excited about that find you guys I am so scatterbrained completely forgot to film an outro for this video I am so sorry about that anyways I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you again next week for another thrift store Thursday haul bye now